Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Boxing. We're here with Omar Figueroa, who rumbles Adrian Broner in South Florida. Omar, talk to me about the mega fight between you and AB. I'm excited, man. I've been camped for a long time, so I can't wait to I can't wait for the day to come by. All right, talk to me about Adrian Broner. Obviously, this has been years in the making, years growing. Uh, it got rescheduled from Chicago to now South Florida. Talk to me about the fight. Like I said, we've been we've been preparing for this fight for a long time. We're more than ready. We already did a camp, you know, and now they extended it, so we're basically just polishing up everything we couldn't polish in the time that we already had, but I'm ready, man. I can't wait to get this fight over with. I'm tired of camp, I'm tired of training. I just, I can't wait to get in the ring and rumble. Like it looks you like you're already in uh, in fight shape. You're just like cutting down to the weight. Uh, how's camp been here in uh, San Antonio, Texas? It's been great, man. It was a great change of scenery. San, I've, I've always loved San Antonio. So getting to spend this this amount of time here has been has been amazing. And then I've, I've been doing camp with my family, so. You know, so I've talk, been talk about the, the, that your family because obviously your sister's here in town. She's a nutritionist, to my knowledge. And who else is in your camp? My mom is here. My dad's here. My brother was here, but I mean, yeah, as everyone knows, he just fought, so he's taking some some a little break, and then he's gonna come back though. But I mean, we're just we're just training, man. We're just training our asses off, just trying to be as ready as possible and polishing up everything that you know because. We, I've been through a lot, so especially because the, the, because of that, you know, uh, and then all the mental health issues that I had. We're just Talk about that. Talk we're about just that making sure that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just it's a bit of everything. I got diagnosed last year with a whole bunch of stuff, and and I'm just trying to my best to keep my Can sanity, keep my peace. Like yeah, no, of course. I mean, I try to be as open as possible because I know, you know, that a lot of people suffer with with mental health issues and like as obvious from last night Danny Garcia spoke on that and uh, you know I, I I was so happy to see that he even broke down on screen and everything after winning the fight that people saw you know he's, he's throwing punches he's getting punched and then he breaks down after the fight and and talks about the struggles that he had with mental health and I'm sure that people see that and people see that he's normalizing being human you know which i love and and that's what i'm trying to do as well because i've been through my fair share of, of stuff and uh so i'm just glad that that people are finding it easier to be human in front of everybody you know especially someone in the spotlight like that after winning a fight on i don't know what uh if it was showtime or, it was or showtime. if it was yeah well on showtime you know so he came out being honest and being human and, and normalizing that which which is amazing and that's kind of what I wanted to do hopefully I'm able to follow up on August 20th and you know show people that it's okay to be human obviously like we see you guys as like superheroes you guys fight you guys leave it all out there but we sometimes forget that you guys are human beings going mm -hmm. through you know a fight outside the ring we have to prepare for the possibility of losing our lives or if not our lives of livelihood too our livelihoods you know so our families are something that we all go through my mom my sister that's why they're here making sure that we're 100 percent so that you know we lessen the chance of getting hurt and getting punched so it's it's not easy but i'm glad that he spoke up on that i'm glad that it's coming becoming more mainstream to to show that side of ourselves and uh, you know hopefully it goes without ridicule but you know I, I think that I think that it was amazing what, what Danny Garcia did and I, you know I tip my hat off to him what do you tell Danny Garcia well, I, I thank them on all, my, on all my social media you know I thank them for for showing his humanity for showing us that it's okay to be human for showing us to that it's okay to go through struggles and like you, you he was victorious and I he did a pretty damn good job so showing that he he went through that and cried on screen and you know it's okay to be human and then after winning the fight i, I feel like it was it was just perfect Mark, talk about some of the struggles that you're going through or you went through as a human being well yeah this this past year this past year was tough that's you know i, I lost my second fight i looked like like crap i know because i felt it and we don't i don't know what happened my team doesn't know what happened we did camp 
as we always do we focus 100 the weight came off easy everything went perfectly and then come fight time my body just didn't respond to me so that's something that so i don't like know canelo had what he said he like his body didn't respond yeah like i don't know it you know it, it i don't know what happened so i had really no choice but to attribute that to my mind and that's why i went and uh, sought help and after i was diagnosed i kind of diagnosed with what i got diagnosed with adhd complex ptsd uh depression obviously uh ocd uh i forget what else it was it was ptsd i mentioned PTSD. i don't know it was it was a bunch of stuff and uh, it kind of made me realize a little even more layers of, of myself you know and and i i saw that then maybe that's what kind of got in the way of training and obviously now that i am diagnosed and i'm aware of that you know training camp has been has been really interesting because i mean it hasn't it hasn't been easy dealing with all that on top of the struggles of camp and then you know like i said you're, we're getting in the ring and sparring and getting hit and as you can see have a little shinier there and it you know it's just it's just part of what we do and it's it's we're crazy for loving this sport as much as we love it but i wouldn't have it any other way and speaking of mental health struggles also adrian runner was also like going through some stuff so yeah it's good to see two guys going through stuff you know putting it out there and dealing with their issues head on um what'd you think about adrian Broner and his last fight i didn't watch his last fight i don't watch boxing really i mean it's I've been doing this for 26 years, man. So I'm, you know, I, I try to stay away from it as much as possible because it's consumed my life for so long. And then it's also been the cause of a lot of my trauma. And so it's it's not easy dealing with that and balancing all that. But I mean, we're here and we're working our asses off and we're gonna, we're gonna show that on, on August 20th. August 20th, it's right around the corner, less than a month away. How excited, how hyped are you to just get in the ring there and shoot? Pour it all in the ring, basically. Like I said, I've been I've been in camp for I think over three months now, so I'm ready. I'm ready to get in there. I'm ready to kick some ass. I'm ready to weigh in. I'm ready to I'm ready to just get this over with. What do you visualize happening when you step in the ring there with Adrian? I just visualize a great fight. I I feel like we're both gonna leave it on the line. I feel like the fans are gonna win that night. I feel like this is make or break for for both of us and i hope that you know i hope that it's just i just hope it's a good fight that it, it makes all this training all this everything that i've been going through for this camp i just i want it to be worth it do you think loser leaves talent it's in a sense of like like if i win obviously like it puts you back in the winning circle you, like maybe you consider your career more yeah well i mean i'm going to consider my career even even if i win because like i said the mental the mental struggles that I've been dealing with, they haven't been easy and it, it takes a toll on, and like I said, you know, I've mentioned before, we're not, we're not, we're not playing around in the ring. We get in there to, to beat each other up and to hurt each other. So, you know, my brain has gone through a lot in these past 26 years of fighting. So I, I just got to take all that into consideration and, and see what's best for me in the future. What do you tell the fans? I just obviously want to thank them for for standing by my side um, I just want to reassure them that you know I've always worked my ass off I've always been 100% with this sport um, and you know I hope to to make them proud on August 20th and you hope to come out with a victory obviously obviously and that's what we're working our asses for and we're working so hard to make sure that that comes true